On today's Try to Finish Something, I've got an update on the GoFundMe campaign that I set up earlier this summer and a lot of you were amazing and helped out with. He's a maker out of Nigeria who doesn't waste anything. He makes things out of everything he can get his hands on, from the cardboard to things around in it. He had a dream and, and I've got an update that I think you're really going to enjoy. And the other thing that I wanted to get to is I've been seeing Star Wars wall panels all over online and I've seen them at Galaxy's Edge and light switch covers and they just don't have the right Star Wars look to, to me. They don't have the right look to me. I expect to see something a little bit different when I see my Star Wars wall panels. Lacking greeblies and things like that and I'm fortunate enough to have a laser cutter and I'm trying to make some files that I'll make available for those that have their own laser cutter and maybe even try and make some available that I can cut for you and send to you. But I first have to design it in Illustrator. And I'm not great at Illustrator. Man, I've got to assemble it. We'll see how this goes. But that's what I'm going to do on today's Try to Finish Something. I'm not sure why, but I, I almost got a little teary-eyed when Praise sent me this video. This is the 3D printer that the viewers of this channel helped me buy and send to Praise. Praise is a maker in Nigeria who never asked me for anything. He enjoyed watching the videos that I would make and would send me videos of things that he would make. And I hadn't heard from him at one point, so I'd reached out and he started telling me stories about his country and his surroundings and how much he loved his family for all the support that they gave him to do this silly little hobby. I started looking at what people make in Nigeria in a year and what items cost and I asked him, if you could have one tool, what would your dream tool be? He said, a 3D printer. Looking online, the cost of a 3D printer was a year's salary to most of Nigeria. I knew what I wanted to do and I set up a GoFundMe page. So many people chipped in and gave a little bit here and there and it started to really add up. Some gave way more than I could have ever, ever hoped. I'm looking at you, Brian and Chris of The Smuggler's Room, and you too, Dean. And with what I put in, we had enough to buy that 3D printer and that was just the beginning of my problems. Who ships to his village and how do I get it through customs? Shipping and getting it through customs was almost as much as the printer itself and I wound up using Amazon and I get a lot of things delivered from Amazon. We're all familiar with that delivery truck or it coming in the mail, but seeing that printer strapped to the back of a motorcycle, the printer that we bought and paid for to bring to this kid's house was, it was pretty special. He's a really good kid who loves his family and I can't wait to see what he does with it. Speaking of which, I see the first of the filament melting onto the bed of the printer now. One quick side note, I told you before, this kid wastes nothing. The packing foam with the printer, he made a puppet out of it. Now there's no good way to segue this, so just on to some things that I am trying to put together. I keep seeing people make Star Wars wall panels and light switch covers, and I saw some of the wall panels while I was at Galaxy's Edge, and this is going to offend some. But the ones that I've seen and saw at Galaxy's Edge, just, I, they don't feel Star Wars to me. The colors seem wrong, and the aesthetic seems way wrong to, to me. So, being the nerd that I am, I decided I was going to make my own customizable kit, designed in Illustrator and cut on my Glowforge. A huge thanks to Ado Morin, who I will link his channel in the video description. He's making some great videos and he is great with Illustrator and has given me some tips and lessons to get me through the basics to get me started. I'm creating these with extra freebies and vents and different things to allow you to make it your own and customize it. With this cut from black acrylic, you could go clean and go with the Empire, paint it and go Rebels, or for this test build, I'm going with a smuggler's or a bounty hunter interior ship light switch cover. Now I realize I'm going really, really fast. This isn't meant to be a, a how-to video or to show you how it's built. I'm 
letting you watch along as I build my first test version of this. And I'm running into all kinds of problems and sizing and things that I'm having to change and reprint. And I'm just letting you watch along with me. When I have the actual files ready to be released, I'll build another version of this using the same templates. I'm just trying to work through the issues and problems with assembly and fitting so that when I release this, it's easy and bug free. By the way, the brown rectangle at the bottom, that's apart from that phone operator board that I took apart. And that round black piece at the top is from the interior of the droid head that I took apart when I made my desk lamp. I save everything. Don't worry, there will be an assortment of other things that will fit into these spaces if you don't happen to have those exact same items. But I'm calling this test assembly of my first light switch and the delivery of the printer to Nigeria finished. If you like the video, please subscribe, comment, and share it with a friend. If you didn't, as always, just keep it to yourself. And we'll see you next time as we try to finish something. <laughs>